Yo guys, what's up? So today is Thursday, which means it is update day on old school RuneScape. New stuff coming into the game, stuff being improved. Actually, this week's post is general quality of life improvements. So the past like three, four weeks, I think it was just quality of life month. That's, I believe, what they titled February or March, one of the two. Anyways, the past like three, four weeks have all been quality of life updates. And today's update is no different. Some really awesome quality of life updates, I have to say. Some that are actually going to be very useful for many of you. The first one is my favorite one, and that is the bank pins can stay unlocked over short logouts. Now, basically, if you guys know, usually what always happened was every time you hop worlds, you have to re-enter your bank pin, which is quite annoying, especially if you're hopping worlds while, you know, buying stuff from shops or collecting items. You have to hop in, you're banking it, you have to constantly put your bank pin in, which is very annoying unless you take off your bank pin, which is, you know, risky. But they added the option now that you can choose whether your bank pin should stay unlocked for five minutes after you've logged out. All you have to do is go talk to a banker anywhere in runescape go to your pin settings and you should have the option to change it to don't put in your bank pin unless you know the five minutes are over as i mentioned this is very useful for people who are collecting items and then banking them consistently and stuff like that the bank pin is getting very annoying and also pretty useful for streamers actually too so that's exciting you guys can do that if you want you don't have to again they are actually saying that if you log in from a different ip address or a computer your pin will automatically relock itself just you know for protection which is it's a good thing they added that because if they didn't add that there'd probably be posts with Within, you know the minute saying hey i unlocked the five minute logout thing and i was hacked by a dude in peru you know like just good job jagex i like this one <laughs> some people were getting very annoyed with the pets being the left click option when you click on that square so that's been changed now you have the option to toggle it so pretty much if you toggle it you can now click on your pet and you will move to that square instead of picking up your pet so if you like to show off your pet and you're doing stuff that requires a lot of clicking, either, even during Slayer stuff when you're picking up drops, you can now click through your pet instead of having to worry about picking it up every time. So just a little one there, but something people will probably be happy with. Grimy herbs have had their value increased. So now when you guys are killing anything that drops herbs, the herbs will generally always show above the bones on the floor. So on screen right now, I have wyvern bones, big bones, dragon bones, and regular bones. And in all cases, the bones are below the grimy herbs, which is pretty useful for a bunch of people who are pretty much annoyed by this. So that's a really neat update. By the way, I was putting these bones on the ground and the bones seed like really big on the floor in the grand exchange I have bones like had an update where they've gotten bigger or is that just me like freaking out because i remember killing wyverns and the bones look a lot smaller on the floor in the wyverns layer they look huge on the floor in the grand exchange but whatever just a quick little side question some free-to-play players will be very happy or most free-to-play players will actually be happy because energy potions are now a free-to-play item so the apothecary will now offer to make them for you if they have the correct items and as it mentions in the post as a result normal energy potions are no longer a members only item which for free-to-play members is extremely useful so congratulations to all the free-to-play people out there you now have energy potions for those of you guys who have completed the birthday event you know old school's fourth birthday was a couple weeks ago and if you completed the event you now have two new emotes that you can perform these smooth and crazy dances which were performed in the events and if you haven't done the event yet you've got one more week to do it before the event closes the fight caves competition is finally over it's been an intense two weeks as they say on the news post and the fastest time to complete jad was dead wilson as some of you guys may know on twitter or on the 2007 escape reddit he beat out wook so i think had the second fastest time with a time of 24 minutes exactly which is actually insane. So congrats to Dead Wilson. He won himself an IRL Dragon Scimitar and also a one-year free membership, which is awesome. That being said, I think that the only people who could really compete in this competition are the people who had like Rigor and had the Twisted Bow. Everybody else really can't compete. So the people who could have potentially beaten the record but couldn't afford those items maybe didn't really have a fair shot at getting it. It would have been cool if they opened maybe a tournament world and had the Jed. Uh, available in there so everybody could try to do jad at the fastest time possible which i yeah actually thinking about it, that probably would have been a better idea but again congrats to wilson taking nothing away from him he won the competition fair and square a bunch of other smaller quality of life updates came out the three big ones i want to look at are the grand exchange history tab one so the grand exchange history tab history <laughs> history tab now shows 20 transactions as opposed to 10 so prior to this you couldn't see your past 10 exchanges on the grand exchange now you can see 20 which is going to be pretty useful for i guess merchers or people who forgot that they bought something or want to see something on their history you now have a better chance of seeing it since it's up to 20 transactions right now which is pretty cool so the elite versions of the fremnic sea boots and the wilderness sword now have infinite teleports which is amazing especially for people who constantly do clue scrolls like i did the other week it was really annoying not having constant teleports to the you know relica and the wilderness area which where's the wilderness sorry it's the fountain of rune is where it teleports you to very useful really for actually that's gonna be a cool thing to test out Infinite teleports to the Fountain of Rune could be pretty amazing for glories. If I believe that's where you can charge them 
and maybe even get the chance of getting the Amulet of Eternal Glory, which would be really cool. But yeah, that'd be cool to test out. I think I'm thinking of the right spot. If I'm not, just roast me in the comments, hella hard. But yeah, infinite teleports there, which is actually finally time because the other Elite Clue items already had the infinite teleports to their respective items. So about time that came out. And finally, the Mole actually has an instant locator now when you go into the cave. So if you've done the hard and Elite Falador diaries or just the hard ones, you actually... Every time you enter the cave, there'll be an instant arrow showing you where the mole is. You don't have to constantly click every kill trying to see where it is. So that's pretty useful for people who are, you know, hunting mole on a boss task or just trying to get the pet. So really useful. There are some other updates you can see on screen. I know I'm not going to go through them because they didn't seem like that big of an update to me, but I can, you know, leave it on screen. I'll also link the news post below if you guys want to check that out for yourselves. But that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Prepare for two pretty awesome videos coming out this weekend, maybe three if I'm feeling it, if I, if I won't be lazy. We'll see. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one and peace. Wow.